I will present you one user meter that I made by a schematic uploaded in uh, the internet. So uh, this is the second prototype. It has 200 millivolts on the output, so you can measure the circuits. The circuits um, mounted on the, cap the capacitors mounted on on the boards without thinking of anything. You can turn on like some integrated circuit or something. So the ESR meter. When you share the leads, um, actually I don't have still a potentiometer installed, but um, I have a little trimmer, so you can trim it to be zero. Yep, it's pretty close to zero. And uh, what exactly is? It uh, passes a small uh, equivalent resistance. It's, it passes small voltage and it measures the equivalent resistance of the capacitor. So on a frequency like 100 kilohertz, this schematic works, and uh, it passes a small. Yeah, pretty close to good. So it passes small amount. Uh, of voltage that is passed to a, uh, to a transistor and uh, it's amplifying in uh, gaining in uh, current and you see in the actual measurement in current exactly this is a bad one Ac actually this is a bad one bad capacitor you can see it, it's kind of blowed up here it's rubicon but uh, it's really puffed out this was a good one this was a bad one again Actually, it's not really bad, but uh, it's kind of a little bit bulged. Actually, the, the equipment that was I took it off was working fine, but um, but uh, it's rid of the readings. Um, so I will disassemble it to see how I made it, how I tweak the, the things inside and um, the ba first bad thing is when you <laughs> I wasn't thinking about this when you disassemble it uh, I made it with two type of screwdrivers one flat screwdriver and uh, one Phillips so it's kind of dumb um, you need two s screwdrivers to disassemble it not only one but I wasn't thinking about this about the proper screw back when I was making it, so um, uh, I made it with with, with the help, with a lot of help from the EV blog guys there. They helped me a lot because I like them a lot of theory. And, uh, I'm pretty of a beginner. Okay, small pads just because of these things, and here it will come out. Just strap this off. And here is what is inside. This is the 5 volt regulator with some caps on it. And this is the schematic. The big cap for overloading in case you place something high in the inputs. It will, in the, will go to, to dissipate it with this resistor, 1 meg here. 0 0.6, 0 0.6 watts, and uh, I can we will show you a link to the schematic. But this is I'm not sure in English uh, buffer sighting. It's buffer schematic, a little oscillator, uh, 10 nanofarad capacitor, and 1k resistor. Make uh, 100 hertz oscillator. Let's go through these buffers through this 68. 618 ohm resistors. Uh, these um, diodes are for protection again, in case you invert or invert something in the input and to go to the capacitor and the resistor here. The protection, uh, uh, general purpose NPN transistor that I had little troubles with it. And uh, so this is the switch, the thing I took from an old uh, Chinese multimeter. Um, the inputs, uh, this is a trim pot exactly, I'm trimming it with uh, the hole for now, I will replace this. This is 
the scale, the analog meter. Uh, I placed all with little jumpers and uh, pretty much this is the thing. Thank you for watching.